I'm Charlie and I'm an associate at Anne's Club Murray based in Leeds. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I moved into the tech industry without a tech background and share some of my biggest challenges and highlights today to And. Before joining And, I studied a history degree. After graduating, I started a grad scheme with one of the big four consulting firms in London, but I gradually realised that I was not suited to working at such a big company or within financial services. It was at this time that I first heard about AND. My friend and flatmate at the time had just started working at AND as an associate. The job sounded really interesting and I got the impression that AND had a really fun, welcoming culture. She was also getting a lot of support with her career progression and the opportunity to do exciting things like attend tech conferences. I also really liked the sound of AND's club structure in which a unit, which we call a club, of no more than 100 Andes served between eight to 12 different clients. Each club has its own clubhouse, its own management team, and the autonomy to make its own decisions. Each club is then broken down into squads of 12 people. These squads are pastoral structures designed to give you both a peer network and mentoring from your squad lead. This structure gives working and the feeling of working at a much smaller company. At the point when I first heard about AND, I knew absolutely nothing about computers and programming. But I really like the sound of being a developer, so I made the decision to do a coding bootcamp to gain the skills that I needed to get started on that career path. The bootcamp was a tough experience, but I absolutely loved it. And I would encourage other women to consider a coding bootcamp if they want to become a developer. Although I do know that people have taken other routes into it. So, for example, my friend, who started at AND at the same time as me, completed a computer science master's after an English degree. I also know that coding boot camps are not cheap and I consider it a privilege to have been able to do one, but AND runs the free AND She Can course, which teaches the basics of software development and has led to women starting roles as software developers, both at AND and other organisations. Whilst completing the boot camp, I put in my application to AND. After this initial application, there were three more stages to the process a tech test, a technical interview, and finally a cultural interview. All of this was done over Google Meet, as we were in full lockdown at the time. It wasn't an easy process, but my experience of it was really positive. The interviews made me feel at ease, especially when I had to leave my interview meeting room and rejoin so I could change my settings and share my presentation slides on screen, which was definitely nerve wracking. I've been at AND for just over two months now, and I've been really enjoying it. The first three weeks were the Anduction Bootcamp. During the first week of this, we had sessions on topics including Anne's culture and scrum training. In week two, the new associates had more training on product analysts and product developer fundamentals. Then the final week of the Anduction was Build Week, where we were split into teams of four and given a brief from product owners with an AND. The Build Week was definitely the highlight of the Induction for me. I really enjoyed working as a team and I felt a huge sense of pride with what we achieved but the three weeks were really made special by the amazing onboarding team. Since landing in Club Murray, I've been working on a cycling app called Project Dynamo. The idea for this app was dreamt up by three Andes and And is now supporting the project. This means that those of us not on client projects can work on this project or other Murray Labs projects. This has given me the chance to work on a React Native GraphQL project and is the practical experience that I need to transition into client work. My biggest challenge so far has been on Project Dynamo, specifically building a piece of functionality using some tech that I hadn't worked with before. But I just took my time, familiarised myself with the code base, read the docs, and asked my teammates for help when I was really stuck on something. In the end, it took me three weeks before I got the ticket approved and merged with the main branch. But I learned a huge amount and I really enjoyed getting stuck into the challenge. I always felt supported and never like I was alone or unable to ask questions. The best thing about working at AND is definitely the culture. I felt so welcome during the induction and then again by my squad and the wider club. We have a monthly squad social and I'm currently helping with planning our annual club day. So I feel like I'm really getting the opportunity to meet lots of new people and have fun, even if it's all been remote so far. I feel like I'm part of something and I'm really proud to be part of it. 